My name is Giulia, I am Italian and uh, I did my studies in the University of Milan before coming to Lausanne. I knew the, the IPFL by, by reputation and I thought it would have been a, a great opportunity to come here because of uh, the career opportunities it gives and because of the quality of research. I study uh, self-assembly processes, so how matter auto-organize uh, on, uh, on surfaces. Uh, for example, I evaporate molecules on my substrate and they self-organize in a porous pattern and on this pattern I can afterwards evaporate uh, metal atoms and they will also self-organize and I can create patterns of atoms or clusters that are uh, nicely, evenly distributed and uh, with a regular size. I work uh, with a scanning tunneling microscope, which is uh, an instrument that uh, works uh, on a quantum mechanical effect, the tunnel effect, to allow a very high resolution. So I use it to study single atoms and molecules on surfaces. In particular, we focus on two aspects. First one is magnetism because uh, when an atom is on a surface, if uh, uh, you made the correct choice in terms of atom and surface, its uh, spin will be blocked, it will be in a direction that's perpendicular to the plane and then it can be up or down and then by applying an external feed you can switch it from up to down. So you can see there is a big potential in terms of storing information and storing bits inside one atom, so that's uh, extremely inter interesting. We don't uh, aim to building ourselves the hard disk of the future, but the fact of understanding how this process works, how we can influence it, which inter interactions are important for it, uh, that will give the tools to someone else in the future to really build something new in terms of devices. Another field of application is catalysis because metal clusters are very important to catalyze reactions that would uh, otherwise not occur. And uh, when you do catalysis, a cluster of seven atoms or eight atoms makes all the difference. It's very sensitive. I would say that uh, the real challenge, if one wants to take these systems that now we study in very special conditions, which are ultra high vacuum and very low temperature, 5 Kelvin, is uh, thermal stability. The challenge is to change the ingredients in order to obtain something that we can then warm up because uh, yeah, of course, for applications, you don't want a hard disk that works at liquid helium temperature. And I think uh, nobody will understand what I mean, not even my colleagues. <laughs>